Hello friends, welcome to Shri Netral. In this video, I will show you a hard cataract and how to chop it easily. Whenever we are dealing with hard cataracts, it is very important to get a good CCC. So, I am entering with my 2.6 mm main port and 23 gauge side port. I am going to stain my capsule with Blurex. Once that is done, CCC with cystitome is completed. After staining, anterior chamber is filled with viscoelastic. Rexis is completed with cystitome needle. I always have capsule forceps in my hand in case needed of runaway rexis. Hydro is done with 27 gauge cannula. It is debatable whether to perform hydro in cases of mature cataract as you may have a posterior polar cataract which is white mature. My trick to identify posterior polar cataracts in mature cataract is to look at amplitude scan of A scan the height of amplitude scan at posterior capsule of lens will give you a fair idea about posterior polar cataracts. It will be more in case it is posterior polar plaque. B scan is important tool to identify posterior polar cataract in mature cataracts. Also ASOCT in immature PPCs. Next, with FICO pedal in position 2 that is IA mode. Cortex is debulked from the bag. This will give more room for manures following. Fico tip is buried 60 to 70 percent depth of nucleus, and nucleus is then tilted and chopped with the help of chopper. So manures are very easy to remind. Hold, tilt, and chop. Once you have first job done, you can rotate the nucleus 180 degrees and complete the job on the other direction. Or you can just proceed with making even smaller pieces and finishing of each step by step. Here I have settings of FICO power 60, vacuum 350 and aspiration of 28. So each piece is taken with due care, avoid small pieces chipping as these floating small pieces can damage endothelium more. Have your FICO tip in the center and let piece come to the FICO tip with the help of fluidics and finish each separately. This is followed by irrigation aspiration. A coaxial probe with bent tip is what I use usually. Depending on your preference, you can go for bimanual IA tips also. A sweeping movement from side to side is more important while removing the cortex. Now you can note I have a little bit of cortex in the periphery which I have not touched with my IA probe. I am doing a anterior capsule polishing. Now how I will get rid of these cortical fibers. Going with IA and removing this is not easy. One can catch a posterior capsule while removing it and have a PCR at the end of the surgery. So to avoid this what I do is I will implant my IOL and use my IOL as a surgeon's third hand, take this IOL, sweep it from side to side so that the cortical fibers get detached from the posterior capsule and then I will go behind the IOL to remove these cortical fibers. This small trick helps to clean out your posterior capsule without worrying for PCR. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel Dr. Pankaj Lande, Shri Netralay.
for more such exciting videos good day